All right, welcome fifth graders. Uh, so we we're beginning our studies of Africa. All right, I love Africa because Africa is such a unique place in the world. Uh, it's got so many different cultures and beliefs. Uh, it's just really fascinating place to go. All right, um, so we're going to start off again like we did with Latin America um, and talking a lot about the physical geography uh, of Africa. All right, which I know you guys all love so much. Oh, uh, before we begin this lesson. Um, it's very important that um, you pay attention and pause and stop, move on, um, so on and so forth. Because um, beginning with from now on, I'm going to have you guys start writing summaries um, as you go through the lessons. Okay, so it's very vital that you interact with this video as much as you can um, in terms of your writing for these last for these summaries. So don't be afraid to pause it whenever you need to. Um, and you'll see how we use those summaries in class. It'll be a really interesting, fascinating way of exploring what you all believe uh, is important. Okay, so here we go. Um, so Africa is divided up into four regions, okay? Um, so in the North Africa, um, you see a lot of Rocky Mountains, all right? And here are the names of them. Um, there's a lot of Rocky Mountains, deserts, and basins, okay? A basin is a depression uh, that is in a land. So we think about mountains go up. Here, let's draw a picture of it, okay? So mountains, um, you know, like you could have a flat landscape and then it starts to get hilly, you know, and then we go up and we have mountains uh, and they come back down like that, okay? And then maybe in between here we have a desert, okay? And then a depression or a basin is where it actually goes down into the ground, okay? Think of it kind of like a crater in the moon, all right? Um, so you can have those, all right? Um, in terms of water in this area, we have um, Lake Nassar, which is a large lake. Uh, lake Victoria is also in this area. Uh, on, not so much in the north, more of the, I guess, in the east. Uh, but you also have the Nile River, all right? The Nile River is extremely important uh, to the history of Africa. Uh, to the west, um, you'll see that it's mainly grasslands, coastal plains, rainforests, and highlands, okay? So again, not so many mountains. Not a lot of desert, um, but you see kind of like this African savanna type of land where when you see a picture of Africa and you see the lions roaming in the prairie, uh, this is kind of what we always picture Africa as. And so this is kind of, this is more in the west of Africa, okay? Um, then they have the Banu, the Niger, the Sengal, and the Volta rivers uh, in this area as well. All right, so... Um, so the next part, so the other two um, areas are East Africa and Central and Southern Africa, okay? Uh, so there's, a lot, again, a lot of grasslands, hills, uh, many mountains, okay? And then there's this thing called the Great Rift Valley, which there's a map right after this slide, so we will we'll explore the Rift Valley a little bit more. Um, but in East Africa, again, the Serengeti Plains, this is where those, again, the, those grasslands, those plains, you know, that's what, if you've ever seen a movie about Africa, they usually focus a lot on that. Not so much the rainforest, sometimes the desert, um, but a lot of the times it's always about the grasslands, okay? And there's some hills, and these are where some of the huge mountains of Africa are, like, are located, all right? Kilimanjaro. Uh, I've known, I've had quite a few friends that have gone and climbed uh, Kilimanjaro. You can actually make a cell phone call from the top of Kilimanjaro. How cool is that, all right? Um, and then we have these plateaus, all right? And a plateau is, okay, a pla think of a plateau like a mountain with the top cut off of it, all right? So a mountain like, looks like this, all right? And then with the plateau, you just go, all right, cut it off. And so it actually looks more like this. This is what a plateau is. It's a flat top, an elevated um, plain kind of just flat, no hills, no mountains within it. Just it's elevated and it's flat, all right? Again, some lakes and rivers. Again, there's Lake Victoria, okay? Kind of in the north, kind of in the east, call it northeast. Um, the rivers, the Blue Nile, again, you know, a source of the Nile. Um, the Albert, all right, and some more, which I don't feel like butchering their names today, so I won't, I won't do that as well. Um, and then lastly, we have Central and South Africa, all right? A lot of, again, flat grasslands. Um, some basins are there as well. Uh, rainforest and also desert, okay? And then some more, you know, and the rivers. All right, oops, I forgot to put something in there. Fix that really quickly. Do a little squeak. All right, 
so we're good to go. All right. Um, so the Great Rift Valley. Okay. Um, so here's that Great Rift Valley we're talking about, which is that kind of that plateau. All right. So again, mountains located all around it here, but wherever we see this shaded area here, you know, it's right here's a oops. Okay, you notice here, right here, is the Great Rift Valley, which is all through here. So this is just a giant, you know, if we were to look at it from the side, we see a rise in elevation, and then it's flat, and then it goes back down, okay? So not a mountain, you know, it has no peak with snow on top of it, all right? This is elevated portion uh, of, the, of Africa, all right? If you have any questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, we will see you later in class. Make sure you do that summary. All right, it's very vital that you do it. It'll help with our further understanding of Africa. Talk to you later. Bye.